Okay, I'm going to um, quickly demonstrate how I got a song into the Cordana app. And the app is what you use to drive the keyboard from the iPad. So um, first thing is you have to use Safari. So we're going to go Safari. And then you can go and search on Google for um, MIDI files. I happen to go to this website called MIDI World. Um, I loaded it. Let's say we want um, let's say we want a song by um, by the Bee Gees. So we go to Bee Gees, and then I see oh, how can you mend a broken heart? So I go download, and <clears throat> if you've already loaded the Cordana app, when you hit download you'll get two choices, open or open in Cordana. So you're going to open it in Cordana. And that will launch the Cordana app using that MIDI file. Now give it a second, and you'll see up here it changed to BG's How Can You Mend a Broken Heart. Now, with the Cordana app, um, you can um, watch it play on here, but from this point forward, you would then uh, connect your keyboard uh, to this to the iPad, and then um, in in the menus here, there's two menus. This particular menu here um, shows the keyboard link, turning it on and off, and some of the other settings on how you want the display. Um, there's another video on YouTube that I sent that explains how to do the keyboard link part but let's go back so you can see there's the uh, there's the song it it's set to you can set it to display both sheet music and the um, fingering or you can just have the fingering um, so we'll leave it on both for now and this is the sheet music oh I just scrolled it okay there's the sheet music and there's the fingering oh, now I'll hit play and you can see Okay, here comes the melody now. Okay, now you can um, also do things like I'm sorry, if you go to the menu um, that has the play and the gear, you can do things like speed it up or slow it down. So um, say you wanted to um, learn it slower, you could turn this down. This is beats per minute. It's going to be much slower, but but be easier to play along. You can turn the left hand off or the right hand off and just show one of the lessons. Okay, so then you hit, you know, I just turned it down to 50, and now you'll see it plays much slower. And the thing is, is um, where you see these keys lighting up, this is uh, how the keys on the keyboard would light up when this is attached. Okay, I'm going to hit stop or pause. Now, um, another thing to keep in mind is, is that when you use the iPad to drive the keyboard, you have the choice of leaving the song in the iPad and just uh, driving the keyboard from the iPad, or... You can also uh, go to the, um, not that menu, this one, go to this menu, and you can do this thing called song transfer, and that will actually take the song out of the iPad and put it into the keyboard, and then you could play it in the keyboard without the iPad. But I kind of see the iPad being a part of it um, whenever you're using it, because um, it's nice to have the keyboard, um, to have this part here which shows you the upcoming notes rather than just lighting up the keys. You also get this kind of uh, flowing thing that shows you where, where you're about to move to. Um, let me go back and um, change the, the speed. And if you hit reset, it goes back to the original speed. 
Transpose is so that you can move it up or down if you want it to be higher or lower, but that's mostly if you want to sing. Um, there's no reason to transpose any of these. So, um, close that. And now we're back at the regular speed. You see, like, you're going to hit this note six times. So that's what those keyboard things do.